So the integral from 1 to 36, e to the 6 squared of x dx. Your first intuition should be to use u substitution to make this u. Even though this might be in the chapter of integration by parts, that doesn't make anything out of this problem. You need to use u substitution almost everywhere. The whole point of u substitution is to make something easier. If u is 6 squared of x, then du will be 6, 1 half goes down, x to the minus 1 half, or 6 over 2 over squared of x. You can simplify this 3. Let's do 1, uh, 3 over squared of x dx, like so. Now, you need, let's see, this is very interesting idea here. Check this out. You need dx, so let's solve for dx. From the third line, dx will be du multiplied by square root of x divided by 3, right? So I multiplied by square root of x over 3 to isolate dx. But you're not supposed to have integral in terms of u and x at the same time. So we need to do something with square root of x. Well, it's here. From the first line, you can find that square root of x is u over 6. u over 6. So now everything can be written in terms of u. dx is du. Square root of x is u over 6. This is u, not 4. And you're dividing by 3. Because 6 over 2 gave me 3. So the integral becomes e to the u. That's the easy part. That was the whole point. And then dx is here, line number 3. dx is, let's simplify nicely, it will be times u. And then it will be du. And what constant outside? 3 times 6? 18, 1 over 18, thank you. This is the integral, but we're missing limits of integration. You keep doing different things. You can leave them or you can change them. I will change them because 1 in 36 is a perfect number for square roots. So it just makes sense to do that. So the shortcut, the short notation is 1 becomes x is 1, u is 6 squared of x. So that's 6. 36 becomes... 36 used to be x, u is 6 squared of x, so it's 6 times square root of 36, 6 times 6, 36. Luckily, it's just a coincidence that one limit of integration did not change. 36, from 6 to 36. So we did not do integration by parts yet, that's just use substitution. What do you think? We kind of made integral harder, but this one can be done using integration by parts. So that's why it's so interesting. So this integral, let me write it down separately. This is a definite integral, 1 over 18 from 6 to 36. It will be u e to the u du. That's a classical integration by parts integral. We like to put it on the tests because it is algebraic component, which is u times exponential. It's a product of two functions that are not related. So it's a hint that you should use integration by parts. Li Ate tells you to choose what? Yeah, u. Li Ate tells you what to choose to be u. And in this case, it should be algebraic. Exactly. Don't choose exponential function. It always uh, makes it even harder because of the recursiveness. So if we choose u to be u, and now there's a confusion of the variable. If we choose u to be u, and the u will be some kind of weird thing. So it makes sense to rename some variable. Either in integration by parts, don't use a u variable. You call it double, you call it t, doesn't matter. Or you rename these ones. You can always rename it to be t, t, dt, because it's called a dummy variable. So I did this in my previous example. Uh, but right now, I will show you different. You can actually keep it as you and be more open-minded about notation of the integration by parts instead. So let's call it like W. It looks like U, but it's double U. 
right? So kana is not very far from the original notation. Let W be U, then DW will be one DU. That's left-hand side of integration by parts. Everything else doesn't have a choice, it becomes DV. And V is a nice variable, we did not use it here, so we can use DV. DV is E to the U DU, and that's why we don't choose U to be E to the U, because it's easier, integration of it is easy. Differentiation is also easy, but it doesn't help in the long run. Integral of E to the U is E to the U equals, we don't change limits of integration of integration by parts, we keep 6 and 36 out of this because integration by parts is not a transformation. We're just calling parts different names. 1 over 18, and then maybe huge brackets, cross product U, uh, W times V is U e to the U, minus is part of the formula, integral product of those two at the bottom, V dW, e to the u, du. See, recursiveness gives us a very in easy integral, just e to the u. What is missing? Borders, exactly, limits of integration. A bar from 6 to 36, an integral from 6 to 36. The first part is ready. You just plug 36 and 6. The second part needs to be integrated. So we're going to write down equals Let's distribute 1 over 18. Oh, well, let's keep it. It doesn't matter. 36 times e to the 36 minus 6 times e to the 6. That is the first term minus integral of e to the u is e to the u, a bar from 6 to 36. One over 18. So the question is, we start with x, do we need to go back right now? We don't go back. If we go back right now, that will be 6 squared of x, but then you have to change this back to be 36 and 1. That doesn't make sense to go back. That's extra work. We did change limits of integration specifically for the reason not to be bothered at the very end. Besides, the answer will be a finite, not just a constant. So nobody cares how you got this constant using which variable, u, x, w. So 36 e to the 36 minus 6 e to the 6, that is just some kind of number, minus e to the 36 minus minus gives you plus e to the 6. So you can actually collect those terms and distribute 1 over 18. And the answer becomes, so check it out, 36 e to the 36 minus 1 e to the 36 becomes 35. Now let's keep it factored, the 1 over 18. 1 over 18, this is going to be 35 e to the 36. And then minus 6 e to the 6 plus 1 e to the 6 gives you minus 5 e to the 6, no plus c, it's a definite integral, this is the final nice looking answer. So we did u substitution first, u sub, and then we did integration by parts after this. That's the whole idea. And it made sense to see that e has something crazy at the exponent, so it was, it made sense to first fix this and then call it U and see what is going to happen and hope for the best. And then it worked. <laughs>